Hi everyone, my name is Malaya, I'm 13 years old and this video is my 7 tips on how you can run a small business. So I started my own business um, September this year and I've learned a lot in the process. Tip number one is to be original. Um, so this can be in your products, your packaging and just your business in general. And um, originality is what will make a business. People will be more inclined to buy from your shop if it's something that they haven't seen on the market before. Um, and if you already have an idea for a business, that's fine, go ahead with it. Um, but if you don't have any ideas for what you want to do, just think about what you like to do in general and um, just build upon that. So I've liked baking since I was a little kid and um, I got my first rabbit last year and then for this business I kind of merged the two and I make and sell rabbit products. Um, so it's something I've liked to do since I was young mixed with something I like to do now. Uh, and as I grow I think my business will grow with me but that's something good about owning a business. You can change it because it's yours not working for someone. Although I mean I'm just a team I can't do anything anyway. <laughs> um, so my second tip would be to set a plan and a launch day. So in setting a plan, that would be things like your products, plan your products. You don't always need to have your specific products ready. Just make a plan for them, what you want them to be and stuff like that. You don't need to make them perfect yet. Um, packaging, packaging is a big key because that's the first thing your um, customers will see when they order. So I would plan that out. My packaging isn't the best but it's still there and it's something. So it doesn't need to be the, the best, greatest thing on the, in the world. Just make sure you have a plan of what you want to do. Um, I would also say to plan out your pricing properly. Um, if you're including free shipping, be sure to include that in your price. And think about things like that. How much is it going to cost you to make and how much profit will you gain from it? Um, the next thing I would do in setting a plan is promotion. So social media is a big platform for small businesses and they have a lot of things that you can do for your small business. I'm mainly on Instagram for my small business but of course if you're a teenager make sure you get your parents permission as I know some people are a bit weary of what's on social media and of course my parents do check my phone and my social media to make sure I'm safe. Um, but yeah, putting yourself out there whether it's an account run by you or run by your parents or run by both of you. Um, this will just help you build your followers and help you like just get yourself out there to what am I saying? To just make yourself known, I guess. You don't need to have a social media before um like after you launch. I actually set my social media for my business uh in a, like a month or two before I actually launched and before I even planned on selling things. Like not planned on selling things, but actually knew what I was going to be selling. Action is better than planning. So although that kind of contradicts what I've said in like before, but action is better than planning in the sense that you don't need to overthink. Don't overthink. Once you've got like what you want to do, I would say do it because you will grow as you're doing it and you'll decide, oh I'd like this, I don't like this. But if you're planning it, it will never be perfect because you haven't done it yet. Right. Number five, enjoy what you're doing. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, people will be able to tell. Um, and that way, less compassion and like, this is corny, but love goes into the product. And people can tell, like, if your product isn't as good quality, they'll just be able to know and they'll be less inclined to buy or they'll leave a bad review, which hurts worse than, buy, um, worse than not buying. Number six is engage with your customers and followers. This doesn't need to be like messaging them, of course, don't do that. Um, just be active in your feed, be active in your story if you're using Instagram. Just be active on your account, like and um, reply to comments when you get them. I wouldn't follow and follow for follow, if that makes sense. So, because that lessens your engagement. Because if someone is just following you so that you follow them back, they're not going to interact with your account. Um, so just follow the account you like, but don't follow every account because that hurts your engagement. Um, and my last one is about ethics. Think about your ethics. Um, so a, a big thing nowadays is um, eco-conscious businesses. So 
people are less inclined to buy from, um, what am I saying? They're less inclined to buy from a place that doesn't have recyclable, compostable, or biodegradable packaging or products because they want to um, be eco-conscious, of course. So just think about your ethics. Um, I don't know why I did that because there's nothing there but I thought something there. Um, just think about your ethics. My business is eco-friendly and uh, it's all biodegradable, none of it's plastic. Um, so just think, just keep that in mind while you're working on your products and packaging and your business.